Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to install and run the BOINC interface, which stands for the Berkeley Open Infrastructure for Network Computing Grid. Um, it's essentially a grid of hundreds of thousands of home computers that run all kinds of scientific, mathematical um, equations uh, to help out these uh, nonprofit organizations do different kinds of research and uh, different projects that would otherwise cost millions of dollars. So first we're going to open up Safari and type in boinc.berkeley.edu. I'll put that link in the description. And that brings us to the main page for the project. So this has all kinds of different documentation and different information about the project and uh, the third party projects that uh, you can run. But we're going to go over here to downloads. It knows which software is right for your computer, so go ahead and just click download. Um, you can run on older computers, you may need to run uh, a different version, and there's a, a you can click all versions there to get to that. But uh, we're going to go up here to Boink Installer, double click on that, uh, click open. That's just a security thing. And then this is going to be like any other installation you've ever done on your Mac. So continue, continue, agree to that. Agree here, put in our password. Okay, so I usually select uh, no when you uh, when the screensaver thing comes up. So this will run a screensaver, which uh, if you're not on a laptop or if your laptop runs a screensaver, it'll show the progress of all your different projects. But I'm on a laptop, so I don't usually uh, have a screensaver on, so I just select no for that option. All right, and our installation was successful. So then the manager will open and it'll retrieve the status. Now since I normally run this uh, on my computer, it'll come up with all my projects, but the first time when you open it, uh, nothing will come up. Okay, so here's a project I'm running. Um, this will be nothing up here, uh, so you're going to want to go down to Add Project. I have it, so you have to type in a password here. Okay, so these are all your projects. So you can search by different category. You have science, uh, mathematics, biomedicine, all different kinds of uh, categories, or you can search each project individually and get a description um, over here on the side, which will tell you a little bit about the project, what university or organization is running it, their website, things like that. And there's all kinds of different ones. I run this SETI at home personally. That's extraterrestrial reading radio waves and things like that and World Community Grid, which uh, is different biomedicines and um, they do all kinds of different climate and uh, fighting diseases and things like that. So let's say we're just going to want to start uh, to run this project so we can see what it's about. It's uh, from Germany. So you'll click Next here. It'll communicate with the project. Now this will come up. You have to create a an account for every project. I recommend using the same username and password uh, so that you don't have that confusion when going uh, across each different project. Um, okay, so it added, finish, and then it'll open Safari. And it'll come up to this page. This is the exact same page on almost every project. Um, the colors might be a little bit different, but you have all your information here. Click OK. Teams. You can run a team through your country, usually as a team, or if you have a school that's running this project, you can search for that. I usually don't do that, so just click on Not Interested. And it'll bring up here all the information on this project. So you can go up here to Computing Preferences and set certain preferences for just this project. Um, but I'll show you how to set it across all your projects in just a minute. So uh, we'll go exit out of this, come back here. So um, so these are the different projects that you're running. This is our new one. Work done is zero. Uh, so this is a project I normally run. I've been running for a few months. So you get points for however much work you've done on this project. So I have just over 100,000 on this. You can come up here to Computing Preferences. Now this is the simple computing preferences. These are all the important ones. Uh, suspend when you're on battery if you have a laptop. Suspend when your computer's in use. Um, 
you can uh, select different things like your uh, CPU usage percent. So like if you are having problems with the heating of your CPU, you can uh, take that down. 75% CPU time would run 75, or I'm sorry, three seconds, and then let it cool for one second, things like that. Compute, transfer times, and uh, your disk space. So go up here. If you want more options, um, I usually run it in the advanced view. So here's all your transfers. Um, you'll have line items here if you have certain transfer times. Uh, these are all your tasks. So since I only transfer at night, I have it store one day of tasks at all times. So it can just run those during the day um, in the background and not have to be connected to the internet. So all these are waiting to start. Um, and if you go up here to computing preferences in this mode, you get more options. So computing, you have all the same things with some additional, um, your, it uses your GPU as well. Um, which is another project that it can run, um, which can cause heating issues. So if you do, um, if you unselect that, then um, it'll uh, be better heating-wise for your computer, and uh, you won't have projects when you're running things like video. Um, so, and you can adjust when you want it to be in use. So, like for the last 15 minutes, it'll reset that timer each time. Uh, store work, additional work, all kinds of things like that. You can set your upload and download speed, disk usage, uh, 10 gigs, That's uh, it doesn't even use that much, but transfer times and compute times. Um, so you can set all that um, individually. So uh, that's about uh, all the project. You see you have your elapsed time and your remaining time for each project. Some take hours, some take days even to complete, um, and you can uh, see which ones you've completed each day. So it's a great project to run. Uh, it helps out some nonprofits, nonprofit scientific organizations and different things like that, um, and uh, there's really a project for everyone uh, to use, so I'm sure you'll find one that you like. So if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I'll try and help everyone out that I can. So. Thank you for watching.